Hi everyone, I'm Blonde from Twinkle. And here's how to use a number line to help divide. Firstly, it's really important that children understand the link between multiplying and dividing, how they are the inverse or the opposite of one another, and how both multiplying and dividing are to do with grouping. When working with children on division and on multiplication, try to use a range of words to describe what's happening. This is three groups of four or three lots of four. Likewise, this is 12 divided by four, but it's also 12 shared into four. And it's also asking us how many lots of four are in 12 or how many groups of four are in 12. Thinking about division this way is really important when using the number line method. Sorting numbers into arrays is one way to visualise how multiplication and division are to do with grouping, but we can also use the number line to show how we can jump up or down in groups when multiplying and dividing. This PowerPoint shows an example where a teacher is putting 24 pupils into tables or groups of four. The calculation is written as 24 divided by 4. This is asking how many groups of 4 or tables of 4 are in 24. So using arrays to demonstrate, 24 has been split into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 groups of 4. Using the number line, these groups can be shown by jumping back from 24, taking away 4 each time. Or it could be shown as jumping up in groups of 4 from 0 to figure out how many groups of 4 are in 24. The answer would be 6 groups of 4 or 6 tables of 4 in this instance. You can see in this Twinkle resource how number lines are being used to solve division calculations by jumping back. When dividing by 2, you jump back in groups of 2. When dividing by 3, you jump back in groups of 3. And when dividing by 4, you jump back in groups of 4. And each time you count the number of jumps to get the answer because you're finding how many groups of two, three or four are in the larger number. Again, it's the same idea when jumping up on a number line to find how many groups of five make 30 in this example. So 30 divided by five equals six because there are six groups of five in 30. This slide uses a very cute rabbit to hop in groups of four until he gets to 20 to work out 20 divided by four. Why not take this bunny hop idea outside and chalk out a number line? Or make a bunny stick puppet to encourage younger children to hop up or down the number line. But is using the number line for division still helpful when working with larger numbers? The answer is yes. We can use number facts that we already know to help us jump up more than one group or hop at a time. Look at this example, 48 divided by 3. It suggests jumping 10 groups of 3 in one go. 10 groups of 3 equals 30. We know how much that is, so we can use that known fact to speed us up. So our bunny can do one big jump all the way to 30. But we also know another fact. We know that 5 times 3 is 15. So let's jump on 15 next. That lands at 45, and there's only one group of three left until we reach 48. So how many groups of three were in 48? 10 add five add one equals 16. 48 divided by three equals 16. Sometimes this method of division is called repeated subtraction when the jumps are going down the number line rather than up. But whichever direction you move, the number line is a wonderful tool to help you figure out and keep track of how many groups are in a certain number. Twinkle have a wide variety of number line resources to help children with not just division and multiplication, but also addition, subtraction, negative numbers, place value, fractions, decimals and more. I hope you found this video helpful. Bye for now!